imaginative literature, by which I primarily but not exclusively mean fiction, poetry, dramatic writing for the stage and screen, has an essential role in our civic discourse on war, but also a, a broader but equally essential role in society at large. I'm going to move this over here. Um, what I will not be doing tonight is making the claim that any of my writing intends to tell the whole story of Iraq, or PTSD, or a nation at war, either definitively or comprehensive, comprehensively. Uh, I, I don't know that I believe that a single work of art of any kind can be definitive or comprehensive. Um, my claim is actually precisely the opposite, that every additional attempt to reckon with any of these realities will get us closer to the truth of them. Whether these are made by journalists or poets, by documentary filmmakers or playwrights, by those who have never set foot in Iraq or those who spent much of their young lives there. If I may use the ancient Greeks as an analogy, it is, I think, only by listening to the collective voice of the chorus that we can truly understand the meaning of the play.